Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking. My name is Joanna. Today I will be showing how to make this corn sleeve. Stay tuned and let's get started. So these are the materials that I'll be needing for this tutorial. So I have a piece of fabric. Um, I have my measuring tape. I have pieces of chalk and then a pair of scissors. So now the fabric, you need about half yard of fabric to make this. All right, so I'm going to be folding this into four, just as how we've, um, we fold fabrics when you're going to be cutting a 360 degree flare. So I'm first of all going to fold it like this, one, like this. So I'm going to fold them, fold it into two like this, and then fold it again like this to have four of the, um, I mean, to have four pieces like this. So two, two, this is how I'm it's it's supposed to turn out just as how you make 360 degree flare so i'm just flat ironing it to make it um neat before i continue with the process so that's it i'm going to be achieving two sleeves together with this so depending on how long or how small you want this um will, will determine how um you take your measurement so i'm using eight and a half inches you can go far as nine inches or you can go less up to seven or six inches it depends on how small or how big you want the cone to look like so i'm using eight and a half inches so by the time i'm done sewing i'll be having eight inches long cone for the sleeve so i went all around with eight and a half inches so i'm just extending the point together to i mean to straighten the line before i cut out so guys i'm just going to open this up so as you can see we have um, a nice circle over here so i'm just folding it into two like this so like this if you cut open it you're going to have your two pieces cone sleeve but then um, for illustration's sake, I'm not going to use this for anything. I'm just doing this for illustration's sake. So I'm just going to use the another piece or the another half that you're supposed to cut for the lining of it. If you want to use this as, I mean, for, for both sleeves, you need to get, cut the same piece, piece for the lining as well. So I'm just applying my hair stay, sorry, my stiffener to it. So that's what I'm applying to the wrong side of the fabric. That is what I'm applying. I place the gum side of the stiff of the stiffener or the hard stay on the wrong side of the fabric and then I flat ironed it. So after applying the stiffener to the wrong side of the circle, I'm just going to cut out the circle from the stiffener. Okay guys, so after we've applied our um, hard stiffener or hard stay on the wrong side of the circle, I'm just going to fold it like this into two, like this. So like this, I'm after this, I'm just going to cut open it like this. I'm going to cut open it like this. So in this case, if you still want to use both for your sleeves, you just have to cut same pieces for the lining as well so in this case for the illustration's sake i'm just using the other piece as my lining so i'm just going to place them on each other like this and then i'm going to be sewing all around with half of an inch just as i'm marking with a pen as you can see i'm going to go all around like this I'm going to stitch it down all around like this. So I'm just first of all pinning it down before I take it to the same machine to stitch it all around 
with half of an inch. So guys, this is how it came out after I stitched it down. So I'm just going to give it notches all around so that it will turn out neat after um, I turn it to the right side of the fabric. So I'm just notching all the way around. Okay guys, so after I've notched this, I went ahead to turn it to the right side of it, like so. Okay guys, so I'll go ahead to flat iron it after turning it to the right side of it, like so. I'll go ahead to flat iron it, like so. So, like this, I'm going to fold it this way. As you can see, the cone is forming. I'm going to fold it this way. And then, I'll take it to the sewing machine to stitch down the side like this. I'll fold it this way in a cone form. And then, take it to the sewing machine to stitch it with half of an inch like this. Okay guys, so after I've stitched it down, I'm just going to trim off the excess um, seam on it, on the side. So after trimming off the excess fabric on the side, I'm just going to turn it to the right side just as I'm doing like this. And then with the help of a scissor or um, a, a pen or something like that, you just have to pull in, I mean push out the edgy part of it. Push out the edgy part of it. So this is our cone. This is the cone. It's ready. So. All you have to do is to attach it to um, the strap. All you have to do is attach it to the strap like this. You just have to take it to your sewing machine and then top stitch it. Or you just have to take it to your sewing machine to top stitch it or use your hand to hand stitch this. So basically this is it. This is how it's supposed to be done. So. As you can see, this is not that difficult. I mean, it's not difficult. So try this out and then um, tag me on Instagram at Anella underscore creations and let me see. So this is how we came out. This is how we came out. This is our scone sleeve. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.